When you think of financial wizards, who comes to mind? Perhaps Wall Street tycoons in sharp suits or tech gurus disrupting the market? Well, think again. In the heart of Japan, there's an incredible group of individuals who have mastered the art of finance from the comfort of their homes. These are not your typical investors, though. They are Japan's finance-savvy housewives. These were not your typical Instagram stars or YouTube sensations, and their journey into the world of trading would change the game forever. From the untold stories to the incredible secrets of these remarkable women who have rewritten the rules of the financial game. Turning kitchen tables into trading desks to navigating global markets with finesse, their journey is nothing short of extraordinary. In a world where women often felt excluded from the financial realm, we've witnessed a remarkable surge of financial influencers who are using their platforms to make investing more inclusive. They're breaking down barriers, inviting a broader audience into an industry that might have seemed daunting or unwelcoming before. Now when we think of this movement, our minds often drift to the present-day realm of social media. However, let's journey back to the early 2000s, a time when women were still seeking creative offline avenues to inspire their peers to venture into investing, even when it felt like an uncharted territory. One unconventional yet highly successful example of this phenomenon on the global stage is the fascinating story of Mrs. Watanabe. But before you picture an individual named Mrs. Watanabe, let us clarify. Mrs. Watanabe isn't a single person. It's a collective term used to describe a group of Japanese housewives who inadvertently became pioneers in both the financial and cultural realms. Their story began to unfold in the early 2000s when, driven by the need to maximize their family savings amid dismal interest rates, they ventured into the world of currency trading. They'd buy yen at its lowest rates and then strategically trade it for high-growth currencies, often favoring the Australian dollar. It was a financial maneuver that would capture the imagination of many. Back in the tumultuous 1990s, when Japan was grappling with a crippling economic downturn, families across the nation were feeling the pinch. Men were receiving meager support funds and there was no financial assistance for children. What made matters worse was that, Despite the dire financial situation, women were often discouraged from entering the workforce. But amid this challenging backdrop, Japanese housewives were about to unveil a game-changing way to support their families, all from the comfort of their homes. They turned to Forex trading, and they did it so adeptly that their fame soon echoed worldwide. These resourceful Japanese housewives earned themselves a moniker Mrs. Watanabe during those turbulent 90s when Japan's economic bubble had burst. Interest rates plummeted. Yet Mrs. Watanabe discovered a way to turn this to their advantage by employing a dependable strategy, the carry trade. Here's how it worked. These housewives borrowed a currency with a low interest rate, and we've already established that the Japanese yen fit the bill and paid modest fees. Afterward, they invested in a more robust currency offering a higher interest rate. The result? Instant returns based on the interest rate differential. It was an elegantly simple solution. In no time, Japanese housewives were not only matching but often surpassing their husband's earnings. Imagine being a Japanese housewife managing your household finances and your savings are growing at a snail's pace in Japanese banks. Frustrated with the low returns, you think outside the box. Why not borrow money cheaply in Japan and invest it in a country where you can earn higher interest? This innovative idea is at the heart of the carry trade. In a carry trade, you borrow money in a currency with a low interest rate, like the yen, and invest it in a different currency offering a higher interest rate, like the Australian dollar. The difference in interest rates becomes your profit. To simplify, it's like trading apples for oranges to get more fruit every year. Mrs. Watanabe borrowed low-interest yen and invested in high-interest currencies, profiting from the interest rate differential. With this strategy, Mrs. Watanabe found herself at the center of a financial revolution, all from the comfort of her kitchen table. This marked the birth of the Mrs. Watanabe carry trade phenomenon, a savvy financial move that would soon capture global attention. Mrs. Watanabe was living the high life thanks to the carry trade. 
However, the Russian financial crisis of 1998 sent shockwaves through the global financial markets. The downside of the carry trade became apparent when the yen's value surged against the borrowed currency, resulting in losses for Mrs. Watanabe. <laughs> the Russian crisis reminded everyone that even the best strategies could falter. It was a wake-up call for Mrs. Watanabe and other carry traders, highlighting the inherent risks in their business. Meanwhile, Japan was grappling with deflation, and the Bank of Japan introduced a policy called Quantitative Easing, QE, to combat it. QE involved creating new money to buy government bonds, flooding the economy with cash, and lowering interest rates further. For Mrs. Watanabe, this meant even lower borrowing costs and potentially higher profits from the carry trade. By 2005, thousands of Japanese housewives had ventured into online currency trading, and the term Mrs. Watanabe gained global recognition. These women, often computer savvy and trading their own money or family savings, became a powerful force in the financial world. Hedge funds and banks began to take notice and joined the game. The 2008 financial crisis was a seismic event that shook Mrs. Watanabe's world. Triggered by the collapse of Lehman Brothers, it sent global financial markets into a tailspin. Investors sought refuge in safe assets, including the Japanese yen, causing its value to soar. For Mrs. Watanabe, it was deja vu. The rising yen meant higher costs to repay borrowed yen, and the carry trade began to unravel rapidly. Many retail investors faced significant losses. The magic money-making machine had turned into a nightmare. Mrs. Watanabe, resilient as ever, adapted to the changing financial landscape. Post-crisis, she shifted her focus from carry trading to day trading. Day trading was on the rise, and it offered a more aggressive approach to financial markets. With the proliferation of digital platforms and accessible educational resources, Day trading became an avenue for anyone to participate. Mrs. Watanabe, armed with her years of experience, ventured into this new realm. In 2012, Shinzo Abe launched Abenomics, an ambitious economic plan for Japan. It aimed to combat deflation through monetary stimulus and fiscal spending. Initially, it appeared successful with Japan's stock market surging. However, by 2013, the stock market took a tumble. Many attributed this to Mrs. Watanabe cashing out on quick profits. Mrs. Watanabe's financial decisions were closely watched worldwide, given Japan's significant economic influence. With more than half of Japanese household assets in cash and bank deposits, Mrs. Watanabe's spending and investment decisions had a profound impact on the economy. Her cautious approach, driven by a deflationary environment, had broader implications for local businesses, job creation, and global markets. Mrs. Watanabe's story became a symbol of Japan's unique financial landscape. Today, Mrs. Watanabe stands as a testament to resilience and adaptability. Her journey from a budget manager to a global financial player has been marked by twists and turns, crises and opportunities. As technology continues to advance, trading has become even more accessible. Apps and online platforms make trading something that anyone can do from anywhere at any time. For Mrs. Watanabe, this means staying engaged in a financial landscape that's more dynamic and interconnected than ever. Global events, political tensions, and economic uncertainties continue to drive rapid fluctuations in currency values. For day traders like Mrs. Watanabe, this volatility offers both challenges and opportunities. Her role as an influential retail investor remains vital and the world keeps a close eye on her financial decisions. In conclusion, the story of Mrs. Watanabe is more than just a tale of financial success. It's a narrative of resilience, adaptability, and audacity. She started as an ordinary Japanese housewife managing her family's budget and evolved into a significant player on the global financial stage. Mrs. Watanabe's journey reflects the ever-changing nature of finance and the ability of individuals, regardless of their background, to shape financial markets. Her story serves as an inspiration to all, reminding us that in the world of finance, the audacious can achieve the extraordinary. As we look ahead, we can only wonder what the future holds for Mrs. Watanabe. 
In a world of constant change and innovation, her role in shaping global finance remains as intriguing and influential as ever. And there you have it. We'd love to hear your thoughts and any stories you'd like us to explore next, so please drop your comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Business Explorer Network for more videos like this. Thank you for being part of our community, and until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep making history.